Stay out of my way. Shani. Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Oh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? When? Where to? <sighs> not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could've. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. I understand. Any chance we'll see each other again? Someday, I'm sure. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows it. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Premathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor. Where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me, you know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend, get inside free and easy. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? To Radovid, there's little difference between the two. Seems to tolerate you well enough. Because he needs me. For now. So, the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> 
Bruno. Eh? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line. Where'd you get the rope? Uh, long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Any last words?
silver lamen. Don't know the sigil. Hasn't been used in ages, looks like. Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a Selkuz lesser key. Someone looking at it and screams about demons. Dusty as they come. Franco? Is that you? Leave the bed punt in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eaten today. Professor Shakeslock. Who oh, the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out! I know nothing! Don't wish to know anything! Understand? No, no, no! Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance! <laughs> Please! You know! Gaunter old dim. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. A mutant. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter Odim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analysed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times, Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims. He thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts, which drive their parties to madness. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honoured I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms Forget about him, or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. Old Geard signed one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. 
He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgird wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odim. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Odim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. So did Olgird kill his own brother? No, no, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable. But play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Why was Old Geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he'd loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. Oh, no way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Odim at his own game. Meaning? Odim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires, human souls. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tones. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. Mm.